What's up everyone? When I was editing my most recent video, the New Year's resolutions one, I encountered an interesting problem in Final Cut Pro that I've actually seen before and I just wanted to throw it out here to all of you in case any of you have an idea or solution and also show you what it was. So um, basically the font I'm using, let me, uh, hang on, let me go to right here. Okay, so the font I'm using, um, this is like, the first thing is don't make your resolutions too difficult, right? Don't make them too difficult. Oh, and that's, you can see the mask there because that's how I made the words um, don't show up. The mask is changing as time goes on. Keyframes, right? Cool stuff. All right, anyway. Um, so let me actually just hide the mask first. Boop. So, okay. Something interesting is that this, so this is a font called Sketchblock Bold. I like it a lot. It's, one of my, I, it's the one I use now pretty much for uh, all the stuff I'm doing. And... So, I noticed that when you type in certain things, look, so look at that. The letter D just changed to an, uh, an apostrophe, and I don't get it. Like, when it's not rendering, um, thing is, don't make in, when it hasn't finished playing difficult. yet, the D isn't there. But then, once you let it render, it stops. And it's not just there. I can type a D anywhere else, and... Once you let it render, this happens. And I don't, so I should mention this font um, didn't actually come with Final Cut Pro. The light version of Sketchblock did, right? Up here, the light version did, but the bold one didn't. Um, oh geez, what am I doing? Okay, so basically, I don't really understand why the Ds are changing to apostrophes. I'm gonna guess it's some issue with um, just the fact that it's not a native, the fact that it's not a native font to Final Cut Pro, but that's why that D was capitalized there <laughs> in the video. And I didn't realize till later that, I don't know why this is happening, but look, watch this. If you change the font size, um, it shouldn't happen. So look, it's at 235, let's put it on 242. And now if we change this, oh, it still happened. All right, that's weird. Um, hmm. Let me actually try disabling the draw mask so we always will see it no matter what frame we're at and now let's put it at something like I don't know that's so weird so the reason this is weird to me because <laughs> like I'm just looking at the small d and it keeps changing right so okay look the reason this is weird is because so in this intro sequence thing here um this c originally that c right this one um this font size was originally 100, and when it was at 100, oh my gosh, wait, hang on, it's all supposed to be at 100. Okay, so when this was at 100, um, the C was changing to an ampersand sign, and it's not happening right now, and this is going to make this video seem really disorganized and haphazard, but the point is, that's the way this D is changing to an apostrophe, that C at the font size 100 was changing to an ampersand, and hey, what's up? Now it's not, which I guess is kind of nice. But same deal at the end here. Um, subscribe, the C and subscribe was changing to an ampersand, uh, because it was on some different. Maybe it was on a hundred. I'm not sure. Let's see. Um, yeah. Well, it's not now, but you can still see that D is changing, and. Here, I can actually go to my desktop and pull up the video where it was changing. Um, here, check it out. So I'll, I'll slide it over here. You know I don't normally do trendy videos like this, but what the heck, let's give it a shot. Oh, what the heck, I can't slide Hey, it what's over. up, it's Matt, and obviously- All right, you know what, whatever, this is not working. The point is, <laughs> the point is that I've been having slight issues with this font. Um, which have basically consisted of letters like this Make your becoming something else. And I don't really understand why that's happening. And basically, if any of you do, that would be appreciated because I really don't know what's going on. And it'd be nice to know. Um, that's it. Uh, I'll see you later. Thanks.